Is your regurgitation complete, or will you continue to expel your stomach contents for an additional period of time? <coughs> oh, come on, just give me a minute, man. I just... <sighs> Unless my memory file is incorrect, I believe I warned you not to eat the eel-infused vodka. Is my memory file incorrect? It must surely be incorrect, as doing so when you had already been pre-warned it was laden with bacteria is highly illogical. Why do you continue to poison your body? If you really love something, you'll let it kill you. You love fermented fish drinks that much? You can be quiet any time now, or better yet, leave. I will accompany you throughout the night so that I might arrest you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Additionally, you spent all my Corpsec discretionary funds on pizza, alcohol, and sneakers. And you have already thrown up on the sneakers. No more discretionary fund and no more riding in my hava. Unless you can borrow some more money. Or maybe you have some attachment you can use to clean sneakers. That is not an appropriate way to talk to an artificial life form or a Corpsec officer. You're not a corpse sack officer. You're... <coughs> Alcohol consumption is a curious human custom. I have noted that when you are drunk, you believe you are more charming and more attractive, and you think the evening is going well for you. Why would you consume something that warps your view of reality? Reality is for people who can't face booze. I recommend we leave soon. This is a prestigious area, and if you were to be arrested by local security, I would be unable to arrest you tomorrow. Oh. Uh, let's go to the Hava. I can change my shirt, and you can ask the senior corpos for more discretionary funds. Do you intend to spend the whole night drinking, calling old girlfriends, and antagonizing all people in your book of grudges? I'm beginning to regret showing you the book. Would you rather I work to settle my debts and clear my name? Negative. I plan to arrest you, and to do so, I need you to have an outstanding Corpsec arrest warrant. Right. So mind your business, or you might end up in the book, too. Hey, <laughs> you too, Fafillion here. And what a way to start an episode by... throwing up. So, I hope you guys are having a great day, and... Well, we're playing as highs. I think that was his name. And what happened last time is, well, we got shot at as Rania. Um, we almost got killed in this very Resident Evil-like chase scene where we had to run around, collect items, use those items to unlock places so we can uh, progress through the level. It was very creepy. But, um, we managed to escape. Uh, I died a couple of times. I actually didn't know you could die in this game, but apparently you can. Uh, I died a couple of times, but in the end we managed to escape the assassin, who had been using somebody else to bait us in. Uh, poor Baz didn't make it. And then we went back to this little safe house that Cloudpunk has for drivers in need of protection. And in that safe house was that uh, Arizona agent who is still trying to recruit us. And it was a very tense moment. Um, but in the end, he left. And we were left to ourselves. And that's when we switched to Haze. I, so I suppose this is the game's way of basically waiting for Rania to feel better or to get back out of it back out at it that's a very fancy hover but now we're haze and this guy as you heard is going to wait until 8 a.m and if you guys don't remember he's waiting until 8 a.m uh because that's when he becomes i believe i remember correctly that's when he becomes okay, here's the deal, Corp, an officer i've got some difficult calls to make and some friends to visit and i don't feel up to it nobody should have to go through what i've gone through tonight it's too much for one man to take, so you're going to do the talking for me. I do not understand. 
Don't worry, I'll be right here and I'll tell you exactly what to say. You're gonna do great. Where are we going? First, we have to make a trade with my old friend Gans at his pawn store. On the way, you're gonna call Drox the Lone Shark. I do not believe I should be required to. Listen up, Morpho. You're gonna make a great Corpsec officer. You know that, I know that. Well, that is very kind of you. But think about this. How much experience do you have talking to drug dealers, loan sharks, angry ex-girlfriends? None, right? Well, I... You're gonna have to deal with them all. In a sec, why not practice now while you have the chance? There is some logic present in your reasoning. However, I think... Good lad. Now, first we call Drox. Jank, wake up and get Drox on the comm. Mask my signal so it looks like someone else is calling. Should I French toast it with cider on the upside? Yes, bounce our transmission off a Corpsec tower. Encrypt it out the asshole. Using a Corpsec tower in such a way is a level four. Uh, who the fuck is calling me? Tell, tell him you're the dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. Can you do a girl's voice? I cannot. Uh, you better fucking answer me. You hear? Who is this? I am a dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. You're supposed to be a sexy dancer girl. I am a sexy dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. <laughs> who, who, who's talking in the background? Wait a minute. Haze, you motherfucker. Is that you? What the fuck are you trying to pull? <sighs> yeah, uh, sorry about the joke. Uh, let me do some introductions. Drox, meet my friend Morpho the Corp Bot. Morpho is bad at voices and can't follow simple instructions. Hello. Hello, Morpho, this is Drox. Drox is a professional blade knuckle arena fighter and wants to hurt me for a simple misunderstanding with his bets. Kill you. Not hurt you. <laughs> Kill you. Right. Good correction. Glad you cleared that up. Mm-hmm. No problem. Jank, hang up the call before Drox traces me, please. Jogging the ratchet. Thanks. I don't know what I was thinking. I am also unaware. What was your plan exactly? I don't know, maybe allude to some problem Drox had with a dancer? You know, I, I was pretty sure once you started talking with him, I'd come up with something. I'd do my best work. We're under pressure. I had this idea, but, you know, when you wake up and a dream starts to fade straight away? No. And I believe your memory issue is related to alcohol and narcotics, not dreams. Uh, whatever, man. <laughs> so, I guess we're playing as the alcoholic, uh, narcotics addicted Hayes now. Well, maybe not addicted, but he definitely partakes a lot in them. Let's see, talk to Gans. I really like these games where there's so much dialogue that I can just sit back, relax, and let the game play itself. And I'm just, you know, I'm just the vehicle in this case, literally, that drives the that drives the game forward. And you guys just get to hang out and enjoy it. It's fun. Yes. Oh, look at how pretty it is. Look at all this new. Mm. Oh, look at it. It's over here as well. This is one of the fancier districts, as you can guys imagine. But yeah! So, uh... I'm actually curious to see what happens with Heiss and how he fits with Rania's story, because... As far as I know... Um, this game is longer than the previous one, and the previous one was like five or six hours or seven so this is they said that this DLC is longer than the pre than the original game 
So I am wondering how she, how he fits in her story. Like, are they maybe acquaintances, or are they just going to bump into each other? Let's see. Gans, hello. Hey, Gans. Long time no see. Get the fuck out of here right now, Hayes. I'm dead fucking serious. No. Oh. Just hold on, all right? I'm about to save your ass. Huh? Now, Officer Morpho, as I told you before, that antique hookah was all me. I found it down in the vents on my camping trip last year. I did not buy it here. I don't understand. You don't believe me, do you? I never believe you. Shit. Fucking hell, I'm sorry, Gans. I tried to take the bullet for this one. I thought it would even things up between us. Wait, this android is sick? You could come back tomorrow and arrest him for selling an illegal antique hookah without a license, is that right? I could arrest him tomorrow, yes. Oh, thank Cora. So we have some time. Hey, Gans, I bought you a day. I knew I shouldn't have sold you that fucking thing. But you did. And in Navalis Law, where does that blame lie? Morpho? Illegal trades are the responsibility of all invested parties, and all will be held accountable. Damn it. So you got me a day's grace. How are we gonna sort this out? Morpho is actually a friend. He's not a bad guy for a court bot. Maybe I can clear this up. He just needs some limbs to grease the wheels, though. You lost all your discretionary funds, right? I did not lose them. You... Yeah, we blew through all his money, but then CorpSec tried to get me to rat you out. They collared you? Yeah, took every penny. I lost my apartment. Damn, for real? Sure. And I can't stand to see the same thing happen to you. I fucking love this shop, man. You work so hard. Well, I'm ruined. Illegal trade. I'll never clear that. I should skip town. Nah, hear me out, Gans. Morpho is my man. He'll clear this up. All we need to do is top up his discretionary funds. He's a real party animal. Me and him hit the town pretty hard. You work in this corpse sack robot to get me off the hook? Just go with it, man. I got you. All right, officer. How much discretionary funds you lost? Pace spent. 10K. Damn, in Midtown? You don't get a discount in Midtown bars when you're a corpo. Fair play. All right. I can clear the limbs. And, uh, Officer Morpho, I won't see you tomorrow. No, I will not be back here tomorrow. Fine. Here's the cash. <laughs> you had that <laughs> much in your wallet? Only safe place to keep limbs is on me. That way, if someone wants to rip me off, they got to do it to my face. And I still keep old Sandy by my side at all times. Right, Sandy, the son of shotgun. Well, we're out of here, Gans. You owe me, buddy. You mean we're even? Right, sure, we're even. Take it easy, man. That must have been the easiest 10k I've ever made in any game. I do not understand what just happened. You considering working your way up to detective and corpsec one day, Morpho? Perhaps. Although I am already authorized to follow leads and investigate crimes, all officers are trained to use their deductive reasoning. Right. Let's get back to the Hava. We have one more call to make, and it's going to be the toughest one of all. Another criminal? My ex. Ooh, I wonder who's going to be Rania. I doubt it. That would, that would be too much on the nose, wouldn't it? Uh, can I get rid of the hood for a second? Wasn't there a control option to get rid of the hood? Disable hood, F3. Because you may have seen me stare at this, but screenshot, there we go. And that's becoming my wallpaper for a bit. It's, it's so pretty. Uh, back to the hover we go! Are you okay? You are perspiring. Yeah, probably just the tramadol tabs I took. Chank, get us a nav point for Jenna's place. Your distress is not pharmacological this time. You are nervous. Nah, I'm fine. You ready for another call? No. Good. 
We're calling Jenna Jate to let her know we're coming over. Jank, get the call ready. Morpho, here's what you're gonna do. I do not want to be involved in any more of your schemes. Last time we went there, you lost your nerve and your lunch. No schemes this time. We'll call her first. Listen carefully, okay? You're just a regular market research droid calling the wrong number, seeing who picks up the comm. No. Clearly, I am incapable of completing these subterfuges. I... Jank, make the call. Whistling the theme tune to Harpy's Dancing. Who is this? Come on, man. I'm doing some market research. I am doing some market research. Right. Well, listen, I'm busy right now. Very well. I wish you good... Wait a minute. Who is this? You called me, asshole. Where is Jenna? Motherfucker. This is Hayes, right? Listen up. You better hear me, Hayes. Jenna doesn't want to talk to you anymore. You better stop fucking calling. I'm dead serious. Put her on. Put her on now. No way. She's over you. The hell she is. I'm coming up. If you do, I'll shoot you on sight. Not an idle threat, Hayes. I have a 45 and enough limbs to cover the death warrant. I can explain everything. If she told you what happened, she probably has it all mixed up. I didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. No, it's no one. I'm hanging up, honey. Damn it, please. Please. I just need to explain one thing. I gotta talk to her. I'm desperate. I know you are. You stink of it. Listen up, Hex. If you ever really cared about Jenna, don't call again. Go back to your other girls. The dominatrix, the barmaid, the fucking stripper. She doesn't deserve to be treated like this, and you don't deserve her. Jenna, can you hear this too? Jenna? Beep. The jig is up, Governor. There's no keeper in the lighthouse. Damn it. Jenna. Are you unwell? I'm fine. Come on, let's spend that money we just got. I think you make very bad life choices. You and me both, buddy. The solutions to your problem are very clear. You must have a neural deficiency which prevents you seeing them. I can list the solutions for you. You should drink less, gamble less, get better friends, get a proper job. The greatest scam the corpse pulled was convincing us a job. Same as a dream. That sounds very clever, but doesn't really make sense. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Rania, you there? Still on the holdout pod? I'm actually at the beach. Just ordered a cocktail. You want one? Very funny. <laughs> you are still on the pod, right? Nowhere I'd rather be, Control, cause anywhere else and I'd be dead. Listen up, I got good news and bad news. Bad first, okay? You can't stay there anymore. We have a corp CEO coming in that needs the pod. Great. Unless the good news is you have a billion limbs for me, I'm screwed. Maybe not. We had a data hack, but our sniffer AI caught it. It was a pretty basic rude attack. We could have reported it, but I had another idea. Which was? Well, the hacker was looking for your home address. That's more bad news. That's two separate pieces of bad news, Control. Hear me out. We leaked a fake address. I mean, I leaked a fake address. You think the hacker was the debt corp that sent the assassin after me? You know anyone else trying to track you down and kill you? Worryingly, yes. Look, I reckon we sent that debt corp on a wild chicken chase. I've sent you a nav point. You need to get out of that holdout pod and out of that area. On my way, Control. Hey, wait, if you fed the dead corp the wrong address, is that assassin going to go kill some random person? I doubt it, Rania. I sent them to an apartment of an old drunk. I doubt they'd be conscious, and it would be pretty clear they're not you, even to a mad assassin android. They're not going to stop coming after me, Control. I'm still screwed. Cheer up, Rania. In Navalis, there's no such thing as a sure thing. By morning, I'm sure this will all have resolved itself. Now back to work, please. There's a package waiting at HQ. Control out. Oh boy. Uh, that was 
a bit jarring, to be honest, uh, with how suddenly we changed back to Rania. I was expecting more of Hayes, honestly, but uh, let's uh, let's go back to our hover and pick up the package, I suppose. plans to get us out of trouble? None, Camus. You? No, but I have thought of a good joke for this situation. Would you like to hear my joke? Why not? I could do with a laugh, right? Ah, damn it. What is wrong? Are you okay? Just these damn headaches again. I think I need to take better care of myself. Too much caffeine, not enough solid food, and I... Ah. Oh no. Should I call for help? No, it'll pass. Just give me a minute. Why don't you just go home? Camus, we can't. We need to finish this before... We can't just go home. I didn't say to go home. I said to park the hover till you recover. Right, right. I just got confused. Should I call Control for help? Maybe. No, wait. Habis. That asshole said the drug effects would wear off. Oh, yes. We should get medical help. We should... Jen, get me Habis on the comm. He was a customer. You have his contacts, right? Yes, but contacting a customer is not... Now. Calling. Calling. Call. Hey, I'm busy. Make it quick, comrade. Not your comrade. I'm having side effects from your drug. You're the driver who made a delivery while high on Violet Pilot. How you doing, Cloud Punk? I don't care about your drug business. I only care about the damn side effects I'm getting. Why am I getting sore heads? Nausea. Why am I getting confused about things? Those all sound like regular symptoms of living in Nivalis. What the hell? Listen to me, Habis. You stop calling me, you hear? I've got clients right at this minute waiting for me. There's a young lady here who's about to buy three whole crates of... Just help me, you miserable old man. I'm desperate here. Yes, it's a final price. Yes, of course. That will be 10k. Really? For the whole case. Yeah, sure, little girl. Deliveries. Yeah, I got one recently. She's trying to talk to me on the comm right now, actually. No, it's okay. I'll hang up. Don't you dare hang up on me. I said I'm desperate. Just tell me what to do. Every junkie I talk to is desperate. I have a gun, you know. You better keep away. What do you got over there? Why are you walking to... Hey! What is that? A knife? Get away, girl! Habis? Habis, what's happening? Her name is Rania. I, I don't know where she lives. I... Oh. Habis? Habis! The call has disconnected. Based on the audio content of the call, I predict you are at an increased risk of violence and death. It sounds like someone was looking for you. They are getting closer. Archo. What do we do? They're gonna find us soon, Camus. We need to get to Pashta. Home isn't safe anymore. I think we need a plan. I feel bad that I always ask you if you have a plan. I will try to make a plan. I just need to get to Pashta. When we're all together, we'll think of something. Ah. We are almost home. It will be better soon. <sighs> Man. Like, what an asshole this guy turned out to be. Hey man, like, you drugged me, please help me, and he's like, no. Mm. Hit people like that. They don't take responsibility for their own, like, for the things they do to other people. Also, I switched to cockpit view because I think it relays better just how difficult of a time Rania is having. Because it, if I'm outside, like, not like. Yeah, it's a bit blurry, but it's not like. It is not uh, difficult to drive, whereas this is a bit more. Uh, <laughs> I guess you would call it realistic. Uh, let's see. So, this girl Pashta that Rania keeps talking about. Uh, she's a girl that we saved in the first game. Um, 
and she doesn't have a family, so we took her in, and we've been looking after her. This lady Evelyn is the lady that I told you about, that we helped recover her memories. Rania, are you okay? You look ill. Yeah, no, I'm struggling, but I'll be okay. Sorry, Evelyn, I don't have time to talk. Please, Rania, a moment. It's about Pashta. Oh no. What? Is she okay? Yes, she is in my apartment. Why? I want to see her. Of course. But first, I have to tell you, I have seen a lot of danger in my life, Rania. I've been hunted in the Outer Rim by assassins, bounty hunters, and core enforcers. When you live that life, you learn to feel danger in your bones. I feel it now. Strangers in the neighborhood, glances that linger too long. Rania, Pashta is not safe in your apartment. I know, Evelyn, and thank you. You're right, I'm in trouble. We're in trouble. Let me protect her, Rania. She knows me. Trusts me. She will understand. Are you sure about this, Evelyn? You might be putting yourself in danger. Without you, Rania, I wouldn't be here at all. Please let me help. Please, trust me. I do trust you, Evelyn. I just... I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Whatever the problem is, you can handle it, Rania. With Chemis's help, of course. Follow your instincts. When you get that feeling deep in your soul that you are in danger, trust it. Your feelings won't let you down. I will, Evelyn. Should we really go into the apartment? Yes, I need to pick up some medicine. I have an herb from back home, saracillin. It'll help the headaches. Mom really knew how to look after us. She always had the right medicine when you got sick. But the apartment... I don't know. Maybe we should avoid it. Why? My instincts, like Evelyn said. I don't know. My instincts are telling me I should go in. I have this really strong feeling we should stay home. That seems bad. I advise the opposite. Interesting. We have another choice. Enter our apartment, or go back to our hover. Let's see. Let's go with our own gut. Um, yes, let's go with our own gut and see what happens. You look so much worse here. You're very pale. I don't feel so good, Camus. As soon as you came in the door, you looked worse. This is not good. I just got it. Just... You should take the medicine. Oh, where is it? Oh, where is it? Uh, hover model, no. Buy upgrades. Can I buy it? Oh, hell yeah, I can buy upgrades. Nice. <laughs> Not now, though. That's uh, it's a lamp. Oh, where is it? Hold display. What is this? Did it help? Oh, there we go. Do you feel better? A little. We should go. Telly. Fish tank. Okay. Yeah, let's. I'm sure, let's have some pizza. My head is starting to clear. The medicine is working? Yeah, but it's not treating the cause, just the symptoms. You need to get help. We need a doctor. We could ask Evelyn. No, Camus, I'm fine. We need to move. I'm going to talk with Control. I have an idea. A plan? Maybe the beginnings of one. Let's go. Should we check in on Pashta first? No, Camus. The best thing we can do for her tonight is stay away till I fix this thing. I agree. We can't come back here. Absolutely. Ah, that's no. good. Out we go. And let's hope this choice didn't screw up the entire game for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not like... Uh, it's not like... There is a... Hey, Rania, you surviving? Just about. Remember I said I had an idea to solve our Curzona dilemma? No? Sure I did. I said I could rat out an old friend and get you off the hook. Well, I think it worked. Seriously? Yep. Two birds. I'm taking out an old enemy at the same time. It's kind of complicated setup, but you just gotta trust me. Not bad, right? Yeah, not bad. 
Come on, 14 FC. Give me a bit more enthusiasm here. Right. I'm just a little tired. But thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. You got it. Now you gonna help me beat Creddy? To make the most fucking deliveries any cloud bunk driver's ever made in one night? Yeah, you got it, Control. On to the next job. Someone asked for you special. That's never good. An old friend, so they said. Sam? Sam the trucker? Think so. From your old home, the Eastern Peninsula. Sam's a long-distance trucker. She was the one who brought me here to Novalis. Let me stow away in her cab. Glad to hear you got a friend out there. Get to work. Huh, cool. I'm surprised they still shoot this blah 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 words. I am surprised. I remember Oh Sam. geez, come on. I like Sam. Me too, Camus. I hope she's not in trouble. I can't remember the journey to Navalis at all. You were on a data drive. I remember. Or I don't remember. I know what you mean, Camus. Let's go pick up this package for Sam. I wonder what it is. Incoming call from a contact called Sam. Oh, nice. Put her through. Honk honk. This is the hard trucking Sam on the old Slip Slot Express. I better be talking to Rania? Rania. I told you before, it's Rania. And I told you I ain't changing how I speak for no one. You're Rania or you're dirt. And you ain't dirt, girl. I missed you too, Sam. How you been? Same old, same old. Currently skeeting over an ice flow bigger than Navalis. Been in a free-flowing drift slide for gone two hours now. Ow. A what? Hey, is that Camus? Yes, it is me. Camus the dog. So, you got Camus a new friend. Said you would. All right, all right. Well, let me explain, Camus. I drive an ice truck between the eastern outposts and Nivalis. It's mostly glacier and ice flows. Sometimes lakes, if you go through a boreal flare and the ice melts. Wow. Is your truck also a boat? You know what, Camus? It kind of is. I drive a Junction 3000 ice truck glider. It's mostly on skis, but it can traverse water or even dry land, although it's pretty slow when it does. Is it big? Oh, sure is. Near 4,000 tons. Right now, I'm cruising over an endless ocean of blind and white. Got the snow blindness right now, but I'll swap out my optics in an hour or so. I kind of like it, to be honest. They say, in the brightest light, you see the face of God. Well, cruising across the Iceland's the rumble of this strontium engine humming through my bones. I feel pretty close to something holy. Wow, I would love to see that. Is it as wonderful as it sounds? It's cold as hell in that cab. All you see is white, and it smells like sulfur the whole time. But it is pretty amazing. Hey, Sam, what's the package? I'll tell you when you get it, Rania. I'm coming up on a frozen scarf. Gonna have to keep my eyes on the prize. I'll call you back. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I actually didn't expect this... Uh, this game to throw not one but two curves ball, curve balls at us because it suddenly switched us to haze. Well, it didn't actually suddenly switch us, switch us to haze. I mean, when it suddenly switched us away from haze, we were going to that girl's apartment and suddenly run here. Okay, and then control gives us a package to pick up. We go to pick it up and suddenly we don't. Maybe. Hmm, I wonder I wonder if I had gone to Cloudpunk HQ like if I go to there right now if the if the package would be there or if I had gone there anyway before we got uh, derailed that's interesting maybe I'll try it on the next playthrough but for right now I will leave you guys with this amazing view of the new lit city of Nevales and next time we're going to continue with Sam's storyline. And until then, I hope you guys have a very good day. Bye bye guys.